So the interview process sucks. Everybody knows this, right? If you're going for front end developer, if you're going for full stack developer, right? Most of these roles are going to have interviews that are quote unquote technical interviews. And to be honest with you guys, they just suck. There's definitely better ways to do interviews and find out if a candidate is the right person for the team. Now, I want to give a big shout out to the homie T3, right? AKA Theo, AKA T3 Stack, AKA Prime Megan's uh, lost cousin, you know what I mean? AKA Tony Hawk in his prime, right? Shout out to the homie, right? And he had a great video that he just dropped eight hours ago <laughs> i just watched it right now and he just gave me really uh good inspiration because i was like you know what he has a lot of good points in this video i believe that when you go and do a technical interview with somebody you're basically telling this person hey we want you to code on the spot randomly no documentation you can look at no google no copilot no autocomplete sometimes right like sometimes you get like some real crazy situations and to be honest with you like even the best of the best or what people consider the best of the best right the guys that go to conferences and creating frameworks and this this and that when they go and do this live they're scrambling all over the place so imagine just regular folks right the regular dude that just maybe just graduated from college or maybe the dude that just went to a boot camp or the guy that just been learning at home or even the guy that is just hey i got two years in the game i'm working as a front-end developer at a company and i'm trying to apply to another one but guess what you want me to code live and i'm just stumbling all over the place right <laughs> so i don't think that's the best way to do it right a lot of times you'll see situations where you go to a company and they basically just throw the whole algorithm book at you, right? Something that has nothing to do with the job that you're going for. And there's even times when you go to an interview and you're supposed to be a front end developer, but they're asking you about back end development questions or a random programming language that you've never done or that they never even mentioned on the job description. So I think that the best way to go in and interview people and find like really good talented people because a lot of times they just slip through the cracks because of the type of interview process that's out here and most companies do but i think that the best way is to actually go in and look at the projects that they have i know i'm a visionary i just figured that out no but for real look this is the truth right if someone is applying to become a front-end developer and he's using react and he's applying to a react developer position let's take a look at his projects let's take a look at what he has in there let's look at how he's built his components let's see what type of application they have built right is it something that's similar to what we're doing at the company is it something that's similar to you know the type of projects that this person is going to be doing in the future right let's see what he has and let him explain the project why he chose this package why he decided to build his components like this why he organizes folder structure this way um what was the problems that he faced building this type of application what did he do to overcome those problems and show us the ups and downs of him building this project right and highlight the best parts of the project what did you learn from it what was the things that you really enjoyed and with the projects that that person have if they're solid the person can actually explain everything about the project and tell you why they chose certain things and why they took certain routes and you consider it to be a good way of doing the application then that's a check that's it he passed that part okay because to be honest with you i don't know what other industry to get the position you got to show up and build it right there on the spot i've never seen that okay like I've never seen someone who does construction or a doctor that shows up to a, you know, I don't know, hospital and they tell, Hey man, you got to do surgery right now in front of us. Let's see what you can do. No one does that. Again, okay? there is no other industry that I know of, right? Maybe there is some random weird stuff out there, but I don't remember any like high level careers that you have to do things on the spot. That doesn't make sense especially when this person already has a portfolio and has projects that already show you what they can do. 
Now, let's talk about, you know, other things that need to be part of the interview. For example, like, hey, what do you know about what we do at this company? There's a lot of people that just go in and apply randomly to job positions and they say, well, I know how to code but have no idea what the company is trying to build. What is the culture of the company? What is it that they're trying to achieve, right? What type of apps they're building? What's the industry that they're in? And at the end of the day, those things are very important. Forgive me for saying this, but knowing what the company does actually goes in and separates you from being just a cold monkey where they're just giving you tickets or somebody that can actually be a visionary and bring value into a company and actually understand, guess what? I, I, I could create ideas. I could come up with things that can solve a problem within this company. I seen what you guys have done here. I think that this will be a, a, a great approach, right? Like thinking outside of the box, right? Having those type of conversations of with somebody and just like, hey, let me find out what you got in there, right? Because sometimes just knowing the syntax of something or remembering a riddle doesn't mean that this person is a good developer. There also needs to be more transparency with the developer that's being interviewed of what the job actually consists of. There's no point on doing things that have nothing to do with the job that that person is going to be doing. Because at the same time, we don't want to waste somebody's time an hour and a half, two hours, right? Sometimes I've seen interviews that go for two to three hours that in reality, when you think about it, you're like, wait, what? What did we just do? <laughs> Two, three hours in this BS? Yeah, like that doesn't make sense. Also, too, the fact that you have to explain to that employee, hey, guess what? You might have to do 60, 70, 80 hours a week. Um, hey, we're looking for somebody who is a fast learner that, yes, we're going to hire you as a front end developer, but down the road, maybe in three months, we might need you to start doing some Golang, right? So if that person cannot do that, then that person cannot get the job. And you could figure all that out within 30 minutes at the maximum. Okay. So that's just my take on this. Shout out to the homie Theo. Again, it's a really good conversation uh, to have on what is like the right way of like you know, figuring out how to hire somebody, you know, um, I know sometimes people be like, Oh, I don't know about take home tests. And I'm iffy too about the take home test because sometimes I'll be like, man, are they trying to get free work from me? But at the end of the day, like, you know, there's definitely a lot of ways that we can improve the technical interviews and it, it, it should be about the skills that person has. What are the best parts of, of that person's skills like you know what i'm saying like highlight the best of them right not throw them on <laughs> on a jeopardy course of like hey man try to figure this out now like <laughs> this is stupid and this is a stupid way of of judging if somebody's actually good or not okay uh because i've met a lot of people that they're really great with the algorithms and really great with memorizing shit but they can't think outside the box I think that's very, very important that a lot of people is not really looking at, right? And and that's why you'll see situations where there's guys that go to like Google, get hired there, and then they'll be like, why am I here? And they leave like six months, a year later, right? Because those guys were most likely thinking outside of the box, but in that ecosystem, they couldn't really shine. They're developer number 2033. And then next thing you know, those ideas that could have been used within that company are now being used somewhere else, or they created their own company because guess what? Google or whatever company wasn't really highlighting uh, those skills that they had and, and those ideas that that individual had. Now, folks, if you're looking to take, okay, one, two, three. Now, folks, if you're looking to learn how to code and you're looking to get into the tech industry, right, and your goal is to start making money as a developer, this is the platform for you, codingface.com. We don't teach coding as a hobby, right? We literally focus on the things that's happening within the industry, what type of jobs are out there for new developers, right? Uh, we focus on, on trying to get people into their first job. So we focus on those types of curriculums. Again, you have things like 
content editor, email developer, front end developer, PHP developer, React developer, Shopify theme developer, right? That's some of the curriculums that we have on codingphase.com to help you get your first job. That's the first goal for us, right? Help you get into the industry, start making some money uh, from there. You could either go in and start your own company or you can start freelancing, but our first goal is always to get you into the game, start building experience. Again, now, right now in the description, we have 20% off and also too, we now have the diamond membership as a monthly subscription, uh, which pretty much gives you a lot it gives you over 90 plus courses. You get group coaching, portfolio reviews, pretty much any question that you might have. We answer your questions every single Monday accountability meetings, right? We also have uh, the HTML CSS workshop on Wednesdays, right? So you always have an instructor to help you out on this process of you getting into the tech industry. So again, go check it out. Link is in the description and yeah, man, hopefully you guys like this video, subscribe if you enjoy this content and yeah, I'll see you guys later. By the way, we almost had a hundred thousand subscribers. So let's make it happen this month. All right, guys, take care.